Happy November Ravens! Welcome back to this month's monthly mailbox where we answer questions directly from Carleton's international students. My name is Gatza and I'm a third year student in Global and International Studies with a specialization in Global Development. I'm also a member of the Global PALS, the peer mentorship program with the International Student Services Office. Well, let's get to this month's mailbox. So our first question reads, I keep hearing people talk about UHIP, but I don't know what that is or whether I need it. That is a great question. We have so many acronyms here at Carleton that it can get hard trying to keep track of what they all mean. UHIP, or the University Health Insurance Plan, is a mandatory health insurance plan for all international students studying in Ontario institutions. The plan covers medical treatments and services, such as hospital or doctor's visits. UHIP does not cover dental, vision, or prescription medical costs. That is covered by a supplementary plan offered by your student association. The ISSO would like to remind students currently studying outside of Canada that they may opt out of UHIP. When you decide to come to Canada, contact the ISSO to reinstate your coverage based on your travel date. For any additional questions regarding UHIP, feel free to contact the ISSO at ISSO at carlton.ca. Next question. Hey ISSO, I'm seeing people wearing a flower on their jacket called a poppy. What is this all about? That's a good question. Every year in November, leading up to Remembrance Day, you may see people wearing a bright red flower on their clothing. That's a poppy. Remembrance Day is November 11th. After World War I, wearing a bright red flower for remembrance became tradition to honor the fallen soldiers of Canada and to keep their memories strong. Poppies may have pins or stickers on them so they could be pinned or stuck to clothing. It is customary to pin or stick your poppy on the left hand label or the left hand side of your shirt over the heart. You could get your poppy at any local business or transit station or even people distributing them around the city. If you do choose to wear a poppy, remember to take it off at the end of the day of November 11th. Another question goes, I saw so the strangest thing happened to me today. I was paying for my groceries and the ca cashier asked me if I had any loonies. What's going on? Now this is a good question because it could get pretty confusing. A loony is the Canadian slang for one Canadian dollar and it looks like this. It's called a loony because it has the image of one loon, and a loon is an aquatic bird that's found in Canada. You may have also heard of the term toonie. Looks like that. A toonie is two Canadian dollars. And now while Canada has loonies and toonies, one thing they don't have is pennies. That's right, in 2012, Canada stopped circulating the one cent coin. Now this can get a little confusing if you're just at Roosters buying a cup of coffee and the total is 184. How could you pay that with no pennies? Well, if you're paying in cash, that would be rounded to the nearest five cent denominator. So again, if your bill is $1.84, that would be rounded up to $1.85. Or if your bill were to be $1.82, that would be rounded down to $1.80. Now, as the holiday season approaches and we're all trying to be financially responsible, you might want to stretch every loony and every toony for all it's got. I recommend joining the ISSO's Budgeting for International Students 101 workshop if you're interested in learning how to spend less and save more. Last question for our mailbox today. Can someone come shopping with me and help me buy all my winter supplies? Do I need to purchase winter skis just to get to class? <laughs> okay, I love this question. Um, no, unfortunately, we cannot go shopping with you, although I do love a good shopping spree. But I just want to say it's totally normal to feel a little anxious about winter in Ottawa. But the ISO has so many supports and resources to help you feel better prepared. All throughout November, the ISSO is hosting Preparing for Winter Workshops, where you will learn about weather conditions, seasonal changes that could affect your well-being, and also how to dress for the winter, including what's a tuck. These workshops are also a great opportunity to meet ISSO volunteers who could answer your specific questions about navigating Ottawa in the winter. And also, you do not need skis or a snowmobile to 
make your way through campus in the winter. But I will say that Carlton is located right next to the Rideau Canal, which freezes over in the winter and makes for the best ice skating rink. If that's not already on your bucket list, write it down. And that's it for November's monthly mailbox. Thank you to everybody that wrote in and got their questions answered. If you have any questions, please make sure to write them in at isso at carlton.ca.